Okay, are we ready? Up. Ow. Ah. Whoa. Oh. <gasps> I regret my life decisions. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, if you've been following along with me for a little while on this channel and on my vlog channel, you will know I have a small teeny tiny obsession with TikTok. I think most of the world has a teeny tiny obsession with TikTok, especially now a lot of us are at home with not much to do apart from this. <laughs> and recently my For You page has been very much full of videos that are either um, Amazon finds, part one, or things in my kitchen you never knew you needed, part 14, or things I own that you really, really want but you don't have, so go and buy it now, kind of videos. I came up with that last one myself, but that's basically what they all are. They show these products and your brain goes, has that always existed? I need one, uh, or at least mine does. So I purchased a lot of things and I thought I would go ahead and show them to you. TikTok did not introduce me to a milk frother, but it did introduce me to a pink one to make Dalgona coffee. If I can open it, one second, here we go. Boom, ooh, attention, do not return this product. What? We got you covered for life, no matter the circumstances, near, far, wherever you are. So, it also comes with its own little stand, which the previous frother, frother, frother? I cannot say the word frother very well. The previous frother that I used did not have a stand. This one does. <laughs> well, this is great. I'm sure this has existed for a long time. I don't think I've necessarily had a product that does this. Um, you have a little ribbon. You put the battery on top of the ribbon. So when you want to get the battery out, you lift the ribbon and out pops the battery. Genius. Genius, rather than trying to get your nail in there and pop it and who knows. Boom, oh no, the ribbon, oh, oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I put the ribbon in the wrong way. Ugh. Oh, and the bottom one does not go that way. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have made use of the ribbon. It was brilliant. And, <gasps> oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And then I can just slip this in there. Oh. Ah. Poo brain, ow. Don't touch it. I don't know why I thought that was smart. I just really thought, I don't know what I thought. Regardless, brilliant product, works. Seems more powerful than any milk frother I've ever used before. I enjoyed the unboxing process with all the little notices that I got. I enjoy the fact the batteries pop out via ribbon. I enjoy the fact it's pink and I'm gonna make many a TikTok coffee with my new milk frother. Okay, the next product, I feel like I didn't need it. I didn't need to buy this product. I don't often use straws. It's a collapsible straw um, and I don't often use straws. When I go out, I don't often buy drinks that require straws and when I'm at home, I just, tip the drink, but it's a cute little collapsible reusable straw and I figured, hey, I can shove this in my handbag, won't take up very much space and if I am out and about and I do require a straw, kabam, no harming the environment. <gasps> There's a pink one. There's a pink one. And a grey one. <gasps> I've got two. Nick is going to be so happy with me. Dun, 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 dun my little straw <gasps> and it's got a little dinky cleaner that's cute i am not gonna lie to you reusable straws sound great until i think about having smoothies through them and then i'm like how do you know if you've got everything out of the center of the straw boom mini little fuzzy cleaner great now i'm assuming that these two go together we have now made double the length Brilliant, just brilliant. I have a straw. I'm not disappointed the whole thing isn't pink, but that's okay because the package is pink. So we're good with that. Also, any tips for oiling a chair? Because listen to my office chair. What, now I want you to squeak. You don't want to squeak, wait. My office chair continuously squeaks until I ask it to squeak. I can now whip up a coffee with my pink frother and then Missed my mouth entirely. Wow. <laughs> my little coffee with my straw. Maybe I should have put that straight in my mouth without cleaning it first. I regret my life decisions. 
lot. Okay, next product is a little 10 in one phone lens kit. Um, and it basically has 10 different lenses in it that you can attach to your camera to change the photos that you're taking to like macro or fisheye. I don't know what options are in there, but we're gonna take a look because that sounds really cool. Can you just pop out maybe? I ripped it. Hello. Da, da, da. <gasps> wow. It just looks way better than I thought it would. I'm assuming this attaches to your phone and it looks like it's already got a lens on there. <gasps> I'm really excited. I don't know, does this have a lens on it? Oh, <gasps> oh boy. Look at this, wait. Look at this lens. It's a kaleidoscope lens. <gasps> so, is that the right one? I can't get it quite centered. I now have a kaleidoscope. Wow! I'm so happy with my purchase. What I will say though, is that the lens, you can see kind of like a vignetting around here where the lens is just slightly too small. Can you see that lens there? The lens doesn't perfectly, perfectly fit, but I mean, if I just zoomed in a little bit, you would never know. This is really good quality. The lenses even have little backs to them as well. This is a telephoto lens. Huh? Oh, it zoomed in. Mm, it doesn't really fit though. Do you see what I'm saying? It's kind of... Okay, so this is the kaleidoscope lens and look what I just found out. Ooh, you can actually kaleidoscope. Whoa! This is the fisheye lens. So this one goes pow and all of a sudden you can see my heater on the floor and the mess over here yes i don't know what that will look like we'll see oh goodness can you see my nail wow you can see really close up one second whoa i'm having way too much fun okay that will probably edit down to about a minute of footage i've been sat here for probably over 10 minutes messing around with this thing. This is genius. I don't know if I'm ever gonna remember to get this out and get it out on the right occasions, but this is great to just have with you. Like choose your favorite couple lenses and just shove them in your handbag. They're not very heavy at all. They do come with a case, but they are protected on either side of the lens. So you can literally just take that. Like if you just wanted to go out with just that in your handbag, especially if you do photography but can't afford a proper camera. You've got a fisheye, you've got a flow, a kaleidoscope, a zoom, a ma macro. The macro lens is probably the one I'm most impressed with. Like, that was just amazing. I love TikTok suggestions. They're really great, they really get me. This item, I'm not too sure how to really test with you. I'm gonna open it and obviously try them on, but then I don't know how long to give it test-wise before I say, they're genius. They are basically blue light glasses, so that when you're looking at your screen, they filter out the blue light that's affecting your eyes, and I wish I knew more science on this matter, but I don't, I don't. So that's that, let's open them. <gasps> oh, look at this. And then we've also got this little card with glasses on them. <gasps> does it have science? It does. Okay, are you ready for a rundown of science? What is blue light? So blue light is in the visible light spectrum and it's found on TVs, smartphones, and electronic devices. Studies show that exposure to blue light can cause eye strain, fatigue, headaches, and sleeplessness. I have all four of those. I need these glasses. <laughs> you also get UV protection from these. Genius. Blurry vision, dry and irritated eyes, all of which I have had probably from looking at screens, headaches, I get those. I'm sure most people do, but I get those. Neck and back pains. I don't know how blue light is causing neck and back pains, but sure. Increase the risk of cardiovascular disease and cancer. Just, just a little thrown in one at the end there, just cancer, terrifying. You've sold me, give me my blue light glasses, please. Ooh. This is really exciting. I realize for you guys watching this probably isn't, but it has come with what looks like a little blue light to test that the blue light filter is working. So are you blue? <gasps> They've given me a little card that I can shine the light onto. Oh, oh, it's actually gone blue. <gasps> is that just gonna stay there? 
No, it disappears. <gasps> wow, I'm having too much fun with this science here. Did I ever tell you that I enjoy science? <laughs> They've sent me a little card and when you shine the blue light on it, it goes blue. Look, oh, it's affected by the blue light and then over time it slowly disappears. But then it's telling me to get my glasses and the glasses will stop it. Genius. Oh, the lenses in them are so clean. I thought for a second they didn't have lenses in them. Okay, if I face this way, obviously the light is reflecting so you can tell there are lenses. But if I go this way, can you even see there are lenses in there? They are so clean. I wish my glasses lenses were that clean. They are so clean. Okay, so fit nicely, sit comfortably. They're quite light. I don't feel like I can see anything any differently. My computer screen looks the same as normal, but apparently they stop blue light. So I don't know how I'm gonna show this to you, but we're gonna try and hold the glasses in front of the testing area. It's not doing anything. The card is not going blue. Why is not everyone wearing these? Why is not everyone, that's not English. Why isn't everyone, that is why is not. I'm having a moment. Um, glasses look cute, they're pink. I can't tell any difference, but apparently they're protecting my eyes and from UV light, genius. They provided a little science experiment. I love science experiments. Throw them at me, amazing. Not only that, their packaging was cute, unique, had a little bit of background, bit of science, just amazing. And you get a little carry case too, a little glasses case for your glasses to sit in. I I am impressed. I will leave the link to these below because if you do get headaches, migraines, suffer from sleeplessness and all the other things I mentioned, maybe you're just on a screen too long. Uh, any tips for wearing them along with my normal glasses? Because obviously right now I have contacts in, so that's perfectly fine. But day to day, I don't wear contacts, I wear my glasses. So I just put those over my glasses or is there a special way of doing it? Or do I have to wear contacts? Let me know down below. Okay, I'm pretty sure if any of you have been on TikTok, you will have either seen an Amazon go buy this video or a bedroom decor makeover video, including this. This is a little LED strip light that changes color. And if you have been on TikTok, I'm pretty sure you will have seen one. It's like the going thing to decorate a bedroom. And obviously going by my background with my adorable fairy lights, um, I'm going to assume this is for me. <laughs> it says on the bottom, thanks for choosing Minger. That's not nice. <laughs> or is that the name of the brand? Oh, it's the name of the brand. Oh, okay. So this is what comes in the package. We have a little bag, which I'm assuming has the strip in. We have a plug. We have an adapter. We have the most giant remote control. Look at this thing. It's got one of those smells to it that you really, really, really shouldn't, shouldn't enjoy. But it's just like, hmm, smells kind of nice. It smells kind of like the good end of the hardware store. If that makes any sense to you. Right, so we're gonna plug this into this. Boom. Okay, we're plug. <gasps> Okay, are we ready? <laughs> oh. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, turquoisey. We can go pink, blue, green, even more green. Right, let's do some jump. Jump. Oh, oh, oh. It's just doing it by itself. There's jump three and jump seven and fade three and fade seven but I don't really know the difference. I think I've worked out how the control works. So obviously at the top, you've got brightness up and down. You've got an on button, a play button, all of these different colors to choose from, which is amazing. Then you have six little DIY options. And when you click on one, you can then change the amount of red, blue and green in it. So that'll be my little DIY seven option. And then when I click jump or fade, it will jump and fade between my set options, like little presets. Genius. This item I am so excited about because every video I've seen using this item, it works and it looks so satisfying to use. So you basically run it over an item of clothing or a blanket or something that has pills on it, which is basically like clumpiness 
it shows a little before and after here a little before and after and it's like the little clumpiness of fabrics and it just shaves them all off i'm so excited so i have here a little pair of loungewear bottoms extremely comfy starting as you can see to pill so if this thing works i will be beyond happy <gasps> oh phillips they have provided batteries that's a great product and it just feels it feels nice just like oh yeah okay little on off button on the side we're gonna pop some batteries in remnants go into here pop it off genius oh gosh oh my goodness that made me jump i didn't mean to click on the back wasn't on properly i'm actually a little bit nervous that it's just gonna shred my trousers but we trust Philips. Okay, so. It sounds like it's shredding. Ready? Sounds like it got stuck. Uh oh, well, did I have too many pills? That's not a phrase you want here. Look at all of this clumped mess. Get into my little container. Wait, can I take this guard off? Oh, oh. Maybe I wasn't meant to have that on. Are you better now? Oh, wow. Oh, super. Whoa. Now we're talking. <gasps> Look how much is in there. Oh my goodness. It's now so much softer and less knobbly and bumpy than the rest of it. I feel like you can't fully see on camera. It looks like brand new clothing. It's insane. And I mean, the proof is in the pudding. Look at this. Okay, the next one I'm gonna have to unbox now, talk about a little bit, but then show you it in action later. So I'll insert a clip in a bit. But this is a tub shroom. So you basically shove it down your plug hole. I thought this could be used in baths and showers. Turns out it's just for showers because it's not an actual plug, like water can go through so you can't take a bath with it. It doesn't make sense. I've realized that now. I was being a little bit silly. Um, however, our shower has the weirdest drainage system ever. This will not fit in it. And the bath, though it has a shower head, the people who installed it didn't think, hey, you know what would be great? We've got a shower head on this bath. Might be good to tile the walls and have a shower curtain or a shower door or something. No, no, no. It's a bath with about this much tiling. So if you stand up to take a shower, you will soak the wall, which isn't gonna work. I'm gonna have a bath. I'm gonna take the plug out of the bath and shove this down the plug straight away and see if it catches some hairs. Turns out I won't be showing you it at all because uh, we have this style plug. It doesn't work. This is a little product I'm very excited about. In fact, it's not a little product. It's actually quite large. This is an AccuPoint massager. Basically, you can hold it uh, in many different ways and get into all of the nooks and crannies in your back and give yourself a little massage, which I don't know about you, sounds great. <laughs> da -da -da. It feels a lot more sturdy than I thought it would. I thought, in fact, this feels almost like metal. I, are you metal? I really had it in my head, going off the picture on the box and going off seeing it being used. I really thought it was gonna be like a, not flimsy, but like a plastic kind of material. Ow. Ah, oh, <laughs> we're gonna shove this together. Can it go either way? It can go either way. We're gonna go with this way. Now what are we doing? Got a little knot down there, yep, mm-hmm. Do you know what? My back just feels like it needs scratching at the moment. I'm just giving my back a scratch. <laughs> I'm not even pulling hard into any acupoints. points. I'm just giving my back a little scratch. That's a lot of options, okay. Also, the two sides are different. This one has one little knobble, this one has three. So if I put this one over my shoulder and give it a little tug, that really gets into my shoulder muscle there. That hurts a little bit, mm -hmm. So there are a few things with this that are quite obvious, i.e. Um, I can get into knots in my back like this and move it around and pull on it and do stuff like that. I can put it around this way and get into that little, little muscle there. I can move it in some ways that seem quite obvious, but then there are loads of pictures that just do not make sense. Just like standing with it like this, and there's one where she's just like this, but she's not got it like against her or anything. She's just stood like this. I don't really understand. 
There's even one where she's just like this, as though she's on the telephone. So some of them, oh gosh, some of them I don't really understand, some of them make complete sense. If you're someone who gets a lot of knots in your back and you need one of these, brilliant. I'm not really feeling this and I'm a little bit sad to end this video on a product that just didn't really do it for me. Because everything else was top notch. This is just, I regret buying this. But anyway, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up for me. It makes me super happy. And if you haven't already, go find me on my vlog channel and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye.